Like, when I asked myself, what have I accomplished, a kid came up to me and he was crying and he said, I'm going to miss you, it was the last day. And I realized I made that friendship. It teaches me how to be a lot more grateful for what I have. I mean, the people that live here, they, they really don't have anything. You see people living like on the streets. Uh, there's actually tree houses and people live in them. It really makes me realize how thankful that I am, even though back home I may not have it all either. This trip has definitely proved the existence and power of a God who loves us very much to me. This trip definitely gave me beyond a doubt evidence I mean, the kind of evidence that you only hear about in stories and think that never really happens. We flew with our 103 people, uh, landed in Manila uh, early, early on a Monday morning, get 103 people into hotels, get everything settled, and that night we had our first meeting. We paid several thousand dollars to buy some medicine, and every day just about three or four hundred people will come to the clinic. Craziness, lines of people, people having teeth taken out. And then after three or four hours, that would begin to die down and they would pack up and then do it again the next day. We're here today because we're doing a medical mission and uh, we're here in downtown Santa Cruz. Here, as you can see, we've probably already seen maybe over 200 patients this morning. We're helping young people all over, getting better, get healthier. And this one too, all right? <laughs> We are here now in Laguna Provincial Jail and we are having baptism. We would like to praise the Lord for almost 70 souls who accepted you as their personal saviors. There's people of all kinds here, I asked. There's murderers, thieves, rapists. The moment they came out of the water, as far as God is concerned, those sins are gone. As far as the east is from the west and the bottom of the ocean. I would describe this trip to my friends as a life-changing experience. It changes the way you think, the way you feel, the way you act. It changes everything. As, as I would sleep each night, I would pray that uh, cockroaches would not fall from the ceiling um, and onto my bed. Um, and then I realized shortly after that that was probably not the thing I should be praying about on this trip. I started praying more for the people, for the work that we were doing. Um, and for, for just the amazing blessings that, um, that ended up happening, um, I attribute to prayer. Uh, we worked hard. So every morning after worship, painting crews took off, cement mixing crews took off. See how um, you know how people gave their life to Christ, and to be part of that process was was really was really special. One of the things that we said before we got off the plane is we want to be different when we get back on. It's unlike any mission trip I've done before. We shared Jesus on this trip. We baptized 714 seven. Halfway through the baptism, it began to just pour rain. That was really something. So everybody got baptized in a sense. Amazing time. I think someday I need to come back here and do some more mission work because Quiet Hour has done so much for these people through our team, but there's still so much more that I think I could do and I would love to do just to see their smiles. <laughs>